small group. While you are reading this, I would like you to think back to our good reader strategies we've been learning these past weeks. All of these strategies are ways we can be better at comprehension, which is understanding and remembering what we just read. Who can give me an example of making connections, which is one of our strategies? When you're reading a story, you can connect the main idea to something that's happened in your life to help you better understand the story. Very good. Much of what you read can be connected to what you've experienced. Bringing your own experience into what you read can really help you better understand the story that you are reading. Now, who can give me an example of questioning? You should always ask questions if you are confused about something, so it will help you understand the story better. Exactly. It is important to remember that sometimes asking yourself questions first is going to make you understand your reading a lot better. What about visualizing? How would this help with comprehension? By being able to visualize what you're reading, it can help you get more excited about the story, and it can also help you understand it better because you can put yourself in that situation. Perfect. Visualizing can make reading easier to understand and much more interesting and fun. Who can tell me how to determine the importance of a story? I like to use sticky notes that you have given to us. This way, when I think something sounds important to me, I can write it down real quick and leave it on the page I have it on. That's a wonderful answer. It's really good to write things down when you read because it will help you remember things that you may not have remembered if you hadn't. Who can tell me how they can monitor whether or not they comprehend the story they are reading? You can monitor your comprehension by stopping before you go on to the next page and thinking about what you remembered from that page. Also, you can use all the reading strategies as you read to make sure that you understand what you're reading. That is a great answer. It is important to make sure that you monitor your comprehension as you go along so that you have a good overall comprehension of the story at the end. Now, who can tell me about inferring? Sometimes when I read, I like to guess what is going to happen next. I like this because I can use my imagination because I don't always predict the right thing. I really like that you use your imagination for this. When you when you can predict what you actually think is going to happen or what you think is going to happen, it shows that you know enough about the story to actually try and figure out the ending. Very good. Now, the last thing we talked about was synthesizing. Who's got this one? It's how you reflect on what you read by making sure you're putting everything together correctly. After reading a few pages, you should stop and go over what you've just read and remember everything. That is right. Synthesizing, like monitoring, uses as many strategies as you can to help you understand what you are reading to give you the best chance of understanding what you read. That was very good, class. You all did a very good job remembering how to help yourself with comprehending what you read. Now I would like you to split up into a few groups, and once you are done reading your story, we will gather around again and go over a few more questions I have for you. See you all when you're done reading, and remember